Hello uh, viewers, today I'll be showing you how to make um, an L-shaped office desk or office table. Um, there are a lot of ways that you can make it. Make it. Um, you can make it as a family. Uh, there are more complex videos of how to make this on YouTube. But I'll be showing you how a simple way how, of uh, making a table like this. Um, in Revit, I I made this myself earlier today, and but today I'll make, I'll show you an easier way of making um a table just like this one in Revit. I'll be using Revit um, 2019 student version. I have over here um an open um an empty uh Revit file of our project, and it is in architectural template. Just so you know, just for your information, I have my skill set to half an inch to one foot. Um, the first thing I have to do when you want to um, build a family is to first of all click on um, a component. You know, so an architecture, you click on component, and you can come in model in place. Click on model in place. Then out of um, from these list from the um, this uh, family category and parameters list. You can choose um, what filter you want to be, piping, whatever. But in my case, I don't really care. I'm going to leave it on in default setting. And um, I can just make it a casework or let's say a furniture, furniture system, or a generic model. Okay, it depends on you. Um, for me, I'll just make, uh, I'll just choose furniture just for the fun of it. Um, then I'll name it, let's say, L shaped. L shape office desk. All right, click on enter. Now it is ready to start sketching, but not yet. Um, the your 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 um uh, two bars will change um to this. You don't see the architecture and whatnot anymore. Then you click on create extrusion. That's how I'll make mine extrusion. And I will do rectangle. And I'll do it this way. So I want um don't to make this bigger for your eyes. I'm I'm not going to pay attention to the size of the table. I'm just going to make my table be let's say um yeah this big. All right. Don't worry about the size of it. Yeah, it looks big, but just for um appearance sake, I'll I'll make it this big. Don't, don't need to worry about how it looks. Um. This came up because I have lines overlapping right here, but don't worry about that. I'll just fix that in a sec. Click on this, delete, and then click on trim and trim that together. And there you go, you have your L shape. Um, the next thing I want to do is um, to create a space right here for my keyboard. Okay, I'll click on rectangle again. Let's say somewhere around here is good enough for me and open it up to say let's say yeah let's say this point uh, let me make it yeah just like that once again overlapping lines i don't really care about that um i can then click on the split element uh sorry split element split this right here trim that to that that to that and now I have an opening right here. I'm not done with this opening, um, but I'll show you um, what how, what I've done looks like so far. Uh, click on the green checkbox, and then there you have it. I can show it to you in 3D. It looks like this now, but that is not what we want. You're gonna do more to this, all right? Um, back to the first floor level. Click on this, edit in place. And then edit extrusion, or you can just um, go back and then create an image extrusion by yourself. Anyway, that is just. I'll start it from this point this time around and finish it out here. Once again, it's telling me that I have overlapping lines. I'm gonna push this back. And I have this one in there now, but 
I actually let me show you the other step. Let's ignore this. Yes. All right. Now you come here, create extrusion, like I was saying previously, and then you can create a rectangle right in there. Perfect. Now we have that in there. And check. So we have that in there. But I want to have um finish model. I want to have it not as a, a flat surface just like this, but I want to have this elevated. So I want to raise these two panels up and then show you the more the more details, all right? This point, click on this, edit in place. Once again, create extrusion. I can do it in a rectangle again. Let's see, I want at this point, and I want it this wide. I'll be changing this in a sec. Click it on again. Uh, let's say, to say this point. Yeah, highlighting. Yeah, overlapping lines, that is fine. I'm aware of that. I'll fix that soon. And yeah, so I'm not really drawing these things to scale because I'm just illustrating it for you. You can choose how thick you want these lines to be. Let's say you want this to be, um, right now I have it at a foot and yeah, a foot and five and 25, eight. You can change that whenever you want. You can edit that to suit your um specifications i'm gonna trim that to that that to that and i have an empty line here i'll delete that come again trim this with that this with that and then remove the middle piece right there same thing applies to this side and that and this and that and then remove the middle part and this will be the the stand for my for my uh hold on continuous sketching i missed this point right here um there's another one there let's see if it works this time okay i'm missing one more down here and it's gone yep all done now what i want to do is i want to um I want to make these things higher. I don't, I don't want them to go higher. Okay. So I will go and select just this. They so can see it in this view and bring it up. Let's say I want it to be this high. All right. Uh, I'm going to delete this. I, I don't really need that to show right now. Yep, and we have that. So that's um show it to you in 3D. That's like the base of the table. Let me show it to you in realistic view. Yep, that is the stand. Now I'm gonna raise the table itself up high. This and that do it a different way and move it from the bottom right here let's do it like this this that and show it to you this angle too this around here now show it to you in 3d and this begin to take its form now to do this part of the of it um these parts these components to join it to the keyboard um pad once again press floor level oh it moved itself away. Okay. All right. Extrusion. Rectangle. 
this here. From there. there. I can trim the lines. That. 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 All those lines, I can just ignore them. Uh, just remove them, I mean. Sorry. Right. Oh, but let me lines here. Oh, it was this one. I knew I was missing a line. There it is. What else am I missing? Okay. Now. Now <laughs> this to this point. Point show it to you in 3D, and there it is really easy. And now your table is done. Now, to add effects to it, I can select this and that and say, Oh, material. And you can come here and click what choose whatever material you want. Okay, I'm just gonna say black, and I will just choose, let's say. Um, on actually, let me say plastic. Let's say something different. Um, wood. Okay, maybe I'll stick to the black, a black material. Yeah, I'm just gonna choose whatever for this, and it looks like that. And then for this piece, I will say, um, and that I'll say, let's say, wood, and then I will choose, let's say, green wood, okay. And that looks like that. And then for this, I can just come here, same thing, and type wood again. And let's say I want it to be uh, oak flooring, just for the fun of it. All right. Just to show you that you can do whatever you want with this. And finish model, and I'm done. I have my L shape table done with extrusions only. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll bring another v another uh model for you next week. Every Monday, come here, and I have something new to show. Uh, maybe next Monday I'll show you how to make this um, computer screen and this chair right here. And rev it, all right. Maybe I'll be able to do that. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching.